So in this video, I'm going to explain what Brett's rule is. And to begin with, Brett's rule is essentially a rule in organic chemistry that says a bridged bicyclic compound cannot have a double bond at the bridgehead position unless one of the rings contains at least eight carbons. And so this might seem a little confusing right now, but essentially what this is saying is that trans double bonds are unstable in small rings and therefore are very unlikely to form. And so if you look down below, I've circled the carbons in red. So that carbon right there, that carbon there, those carbons are all carbons at a bridgehead position. And so the rule says that a bicyclic compound can't have a double bond at a bridgehead position unless one of the rings has eight carbons. And so if you count the ones on the bottom left here, I mean bottom right, sorry, so these two, you can count the number of carbons in the ring. One ring will have five, one ring will have six carbons. And so since none of these rings have more than eight carbons, these would probably not form, and if they did, they would be highly unstable. Now, if you look at the one on the bottom left, you see that the double bond is not at a bridgehead carbon. And so as a result, this can form. So that molecule can be made, and it would be pretty stable as well. And so another thing I want to show you with these two molecules that would be highly unstable is that it, if you have a double bond there at a bridgehead carbon, you're going to have a trans double bond. And so for example, if you look at this molecule right here, you would have a trans double bond in the six carbon ring, which would be very unstable. Now let's look at a molecule that has more than 10 carbons in a ring and can fit a double bond at a bridgehead position. And so this molecule here, what I've drawn is a double bond at the bridgehead position. And so you're going to have a cis double bond in the six carbon ring, so in one of these rings. And then you're going to have a trans double bond in the 10 carbon ring, so the ring that goes all the way around there. It might be a little difficult to see with this drawing, but if you take a model kit and make it, you can see that this molecule would be very stable. And so pretty much the point of this video is that you need to remember that if you have a bicyclic compound that's bridged, you can't have a double bond at the bridgehead position unless one of the rings has more than eight carbons. And it's a pretty easy rule to remember. If you ever see a bridge bicyclic compound, try and count the max number of carbons in the ring. If it's less than eight, then it won't form. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.